Good morning and welcome to Trans West Truck Trailer RV. I'm AC here in beautiful sunny Frederick, Colorado. Today I'm going to walk you through this brand new 2023 Winnebago Solus 59P and this is the National Park Edition. Uh, so a couple differences from this and just the standard 59P I'm going to point out. We're going to start up front here. This is on a Ram Pro Master chassis. It's a 2500 chassis. Uh, so it's going to have a 3.6 liter V6, 280 horsepower, 250 pound feet of torque. This is on a 23 chassis versus some out there that are still on 22 chassis. Easiest way to determine what year it is is the headlights. The 23 went to this little more straight headlight. The 22 kind of curls up to this corner here. So if you see that, you'll know if you got a 22 or 23. We've got the all-terrain BF Goodrich tires here. These are the KO2 tires. Again, this is part of the upgrade on the National Park Edition. So first upgrade, you've got the wheels and tires. You're also going to have sumo springs uh, for better control, better stability. Uh, they kind of handle and absorb the shock a little bit better for you. Running board is a fixed running board here. We've got the tie down rings here for a leash or a bike. We got power heated mirrors on the outside of the door. The mirrors do fold and I'll show that when I come around the driver's side. Right here on the door, I get a lot of questions about uh, carrying capacity. So right here, you can see that this one is at 1,835 pounds. The seats do swivel around. So actually while I'm sitting here, it's easier to open, swivel them around from the outside until you kind of get the hang of them. A couple things to point out. This dial here is going to lift the backrest up. It's going to kind of incline your, the rear of the seat. This is going to do the front of the seat. So you can kind of tilt either way. This lever, which is kind of hidden here, if I pull this, the backrest is going to come down. On the opposite side, that lever is going to allow you to spin the seat around. So once the seat is around, you can pull on this front lever and, and push it back so that you have more leg room. All right, as we work our way back, now we have our porch light out here just on the outside of the passenger seat. Our propane tank is located right down here, and it does have an emergency shutoff. It is a six gallon uh, propane tank. You can see the beautiful graphics. They did kind of a mountain scene out here for the National Park Foundation edition. We have our pop top at the very top. It's real, aer real di aerodynamic, doesn't catch a lot of wind. You don't even really know it's there. Some people don't use it. Uh, I'll give you a couple ideas on how to use it if you don't have extra guests coming with you. Back here, we're going to see a couple things. We have our fan up top, which I have open to circulate some fresh air. Also have our backup camera. We've got our 3,500 pound receiver hitch. Down here, you'll have two connectors. You're going to have a seven pin connection and a four pin connection right here. All right, back here. Another difference on the National Park Edition versus the 59 Standard P is you're going to have a different storage set up here. So this compartment still opens up so you can access it from the inside. But if your bed is down, you're setting up camp here, you're getting ready to cook. This has a really cool setup. So now you have your sink right next to your water hose there. Additional trays down here you can put. These, uh, these come out. So you can actually, I've seen people put fishing rods in there, you know, broken down into half. Different supplies. There we go. 
same on this side you can adjust these so really cool feature the sink does have a drain right here what's cool about it is you can actually you don't have to worry about where you put it it fits right in there on this side you're going to have your uh, water system so hot and cold shower your color-coded valves here your water pump and your side porch light this is for the driver's side porch light if you look under there you can see that all your different settings are really easy to follow because those valves are color coded so whether you're doing a pack, uh, power tank fill you're hooking up to city water you're sanitizing or winterizing it walks you through basically the easiest way you can do it without messing up anything here is your water inlet for your city water and then right here you've got an external solar panel port so this does come equipped with solar on the roof you can add one more panel right here on this left side you're going to have a molly panel back here and on that molly panel they've attached a bag here you can put your barbecue and utensils here you can actually put stuff down in these little spots so you can put tools, screwdrivers, whatever you, you use, you want to have readily available. Of course, it's summertime. So you get hot, you're parked somewhere, you can use both of your screens. You do have a screen in the back, one on the side. Open your doors, get some fresh air circulating through there. I'm kind of a summer guy. I like the heat. I'd rather have 100, 100 degrees of temperature than 40. So let me know what if you prefer hot or cold. I'm kind of curious. A lot of people don't like the 100 degrees. I don't mind it at all. Especially if, if you're up in the mountains, right? It's not going to be 100 degrees up there. All right. So another cool feature about the Solus. And this you'll get on all of them, whether it's a 36A, a 59P, or a PX. You're gonna have your rod back here for your shower curtain. Just Velcros onto this bar. I've done other videos, so if you need a link, let me know and I'll send you a link to it. Put your shower curtain there, hook up your shower hose. Now you can take an outdoor shower with a little more space than the bathroom inside. You can also set it up as an awning, put a couple lawn chairs here and kind of hang out under the shade. If it's windy out and you're back here, you know cooking or doing something with your your storage setup back here you want to set this up so that the wind doesn't shut the doors on you all right as we move back around this corner here on the driver's side a couple things to point out we're going to have our 30 amp service connection right here so this is where you would plug in if you're at an rv park or maybe in your driveway, you can set this up from 30 amp to 50 amp pretty, pretty easily with an adapter. You're gonna have your five gallon cassette. Really easy to use. Basically, the this blue cap here, you take it off like right now, push the vent button, and then just drain it into your sewer, porta potty, toilet. Makes it really nice and convenient. You don't have to be touching the black hose like you would in a in a bigger RV. Down here, you're going to have your gray tank drain. So that's where you would hook up your hose, put it into the sewer, pull that valve. Your gray tank is going to have your shower and sink water. You're going to have your Truma exhaust right there. This port right here, this exhaust is actually for the van itself. That's the engine exhaust. Because it's a ProMaster, you're going to be using uh, gasoline, not diesel. That's where you fill that. To pop the hood, it's kind of hidden right here on the side of the door when you open it. That's where you pop your hood. Your electronic parking brake is right here. Your battery boost, in case you forget to leave the lights on or something, you leave them on and it kills your battery. You want it hold that to merge your house and chassis batteries 
on the door here you're gonna have your power windows and door locks this also has the mirror your folding mirror feature so when you're going to park in your garage if you need additional space that's where you would bring those in they are power and heated all right so I was telling you earlier this is a ProMaster um, three-quarter ton basically uh, chassis you've got a 3.6 liter v6 engine you still got plenty of room in here. You're gonna have your coolant, your wiper fluid right here, your engine oil check right here, and your fill right there. Everything you need is real handy, real easy to get to. Not a lot else that you really need to point out in here. You've got your air for your flux capacitor right here. Make sure you keep that nice and open so you get that extra boost. Blacked out front grill here. This looks really nice. I think the 22 model still had kind of a two-tone. I really like the all black better. All right, now as we open the door here, first thing is your refrigerator is super accessible. While you're standing outside, you can load all your groceries. You got eight, eight eight ice cubes here that you can uh, you know choose which drinks you're going to put one of those in make it last as long as you can you've got your 12 volt disconnect right here 12 volt outlet some usb ports because this is a 59p all your 12 volt everything your refrigerator is going to run off your batteries your 12 volt outlets are going to run uh, from your battery and your lights uh, if you want to use your 110 outlets, your standard outlets down here, you're going to want to plug into shore power or to a generator. As you can see, we also have another outdoor shower here with hot and cold water. To the right, we have our fire extinguisher. I mentioned the screens. Showed you the one in the back. Here's the side one. Pretty easy. You leave your doors open, get some fresh air circulating through there. When you're going in and out, it's got the magnetic strip so you don't have to zip and unzip every time. Makes it really nice. Put it away, just roll it up. Doesn't take long at all. Then you just use these straps here to tie it down. All right, there is a small grab bar here to help you in and out of the van. As you can see, we've got this seat turned around as I showed you earlier. It makes it part of the living space. The driver's seat also turns around. You're gonna have a nice LED light right here, right? You got some overhead storage. That is where your ladder can store when you're not using it, when you're going down the road, makes it really easy. Gives you a lot of open space here, so. Couple things I want to point out here on the pop top. When it's time to use it, I always kind of put the strap in there to kind of get it out of the way. There's a magnet right here, it's very important. I point it out every time and I still see vans going down the highway where they didn't do this properly when they put it away and I'll show you what I mean. But when it's time, to, you just give it a push. A lot of room up there. This is really nice. If you're tall, gives you a lot more leg room up there. You got two windows up there with screens, so it gives you some additional circulation. Um, I mentioned earlier that even if you don't have guests coming with you, you can actually use that for storage. So a lot of people, a lot of people will actually use their bathroom for storage hang up clothes, use it for storage, and when they get to their campsite, then they pop the top and move all their stuff upstairs. So that way it's kind of out of the way, and when it's time to leave, they just repack everything back into the bathroom. So I'll go ahead and point out to show you the bathroom next. It's a five gallon cassette, which I showed you outside. 
It's got a heater vent inside. There's a rod up top to hang your clothes. The toilet will turn from one direction to the other. So it will turn sideways, turn forward to give you more room to shower when you're in there. You got a basket here for your shampoo, all of your supplies. I actually, I, I want to point out, I've had customers that'll put a shower rod in here that kind of extends outward. It's kind of curves out to give them a little more elbow room. There's a shower curtain that comes with this. It's a really nice feature. The other thing is when you open and close this, when I'm doing demos throughout the day, it feels like it's stuck, but there's magnets down along the bottom and there's one up top here. So it feels like it's locked, but it really isn't. You just have to give it a good tug to lock it. You're gonna turn this to the right. Up here behind the two jump seats here, a couple things to point out. We're gonna have our propane on and off valve our solar charge controller, our holding tank heater pad, our furnace. This is actually your furnace and your hot water. So if you want to turn on your furnace, you would put it on that icon, push again and it would turn it on to run your hot water. You go to that icon and push it. That'll get your hot water going. Here on your display, you can see how much level, the level of our propane our batteries, and our gray tank. Here is your water pump on and off. And that is it on the control panel there. Pretty simple. One of the things I really love about the Solus is the simplicity of it. Um, not a lot to go wrong. When it's time, when you're not using your ladder, it just breaks down in half. You can store it up here. Now it will make some noise. So I've had folks that'll wrap them some felt or leave a pillow up here and just kind of put in between there. Once the ladder's out of the way, you can see we have a cubby under here. There's also a nice little trough here so you can put some stuff in for storage. You remove that to access your low, your fresh tank drain down here. You will see the blue and the red lines down there with a couple of valves. That's where you're going to drain your valves. This right here is your furnace. All right, now when it's time to set up your table, everything is stored behind the seat, nice and out of the way. Get your base, pull out the top. There you go. And now, because it is a National Park Edition, they give you a different design on the table and on the countertop in the kitchen area. Another cool feature is your blackout shades here. So your blackout shades are held up by really strong magnets, the same magnets that they use to hold up your cabinet doors. Uh, so again, you don't have to worry about it getting too hot and the double-sided sticky tape kind of coming loose. Right now I've got this screen open, this window, so we can get some fresh air. There's a step down here. There are two level changes in, this, in, the, in the Solus. One here and then one in the back. So you, wanna, you kind of get used to it. After you miss the step once or twice, you won't do it again. Here in the galley gonna have a nice little counter extension right in front of your uh, cooktop your burner cooktop this is a propane suburban cooktop you're gonna have your stainless steel sink basket here for some cooking supplies another standard outlet USB and uh, 12 volt here under the sink your fresh water tanks actually back here so really nice feature that they do you have your tank level monitor up above the seats that I showed you a minute ago but right here if you look that's how much fresh water we have so you can turn the light on get a quick glimpse and see how much water you have so you know if it's time to refill or not 
Also, this Eco Hot system right here has a preheat. So once you turn it to preheat, what it does is it takes the fresh water out of your line, puts it back into your fresh tank so that you're not wasting fresh water. This has a 20 gallon fresh water tank and a 20 gallon gray tank. Storage compartment, your Winnebago owner's manuals. Back here, another level change. So you can see the level change. You're gonna have a couple cubbies back here. And then you have this storage compartment with adjustable shelf. And again, I love the magnets. I can't say that enough. Normally with the struts, they start to sag. It's a pain in the butt, catcher. It's real easy to hit your head. These magnets, everything's out of the way. A couple of things back here that I want to point out. This is equipped with the uh, air mattress up front. This gives you a mat for the floor. So this is going to give you a mat for the floor that you can lay down. It's real easy to clean when it's time to get clean up before you put it back in storage. Again, you have this huge storage compartment here. When you put your Murphy bed down, that's going to open up another overhead storage compartment with a roof access port, a 110 outlet, a 12 volt outlet, and another uh, couple more USB ports. So I'm going to step out so you can kind of show the bed a little bit better. So this National Park van is 19 foot 9 inches long. Uh, the interior height here in the main area when, where you're at the, the lowest point, pretty interesting fact, this is kind of like a bowling pin. Uh, so if you know anything about bowling, you know that a bowling pin is as tall as it is round uh, at the center. So inside here you're 6'3 to the top and you're 6'2 from side to side on the front windows. Uh, so nice little fact for you in case you were wondering. Next time you're playing trivia, you can bring that up and maybe you can get an extra point. All right, now up here in the front for the chassis. Again, Ram Pro Master. This is a 23 chassis. I'm gonna fire this up real quick, show you a couple of things. Right here is where you'd put your phone. Your phone sits here. There's an opening down here for your power cord so that you can plug into your USB port. There's a standard USB and a USB type C. You also have a 12 volt outlet. You have traction control, your hazards, your door locks. AC controls here. Your fan here, so temperature, fan speed here. AC's on because it is hot today. Max AC, your defrost. Turn this down a little bit so you can hear me. We're gonna have our seven inch panel, touchscreen panel here. This is standard on the 59P. You can connect your phones, listen to your music, go to your driver settings and adjust certain things on here. Clock date, safety and driving assistance. So this, this 23 chassis is equipped with, you have your lane departure notifications. You have your crosswind and traffic assist um, it'll have it has your emergency braking it's got collision after collision braking so it's super packed with a lot of safety features uh, that I can go into more detail if you'd like give me a call shoot me a text and I'll send you the build sheets that'll give you all of that info really nice uh, setup also the airbags you're gonna have front airbags side airbags it is a very safe vehicle with plenty of room for drinks down here and water monsters Gatorades, whatever you like to drink. Nice little cubby up here. Same behind the passenger seat. On the steering wheel, you're gonna have your cruise control settings. This side here is gonna run your, your display up here. This does have a tire pressure monitoring system. So this is a really nice feature. If you see that uh, 
Oh, I think it went away here. I've got the side doors open, and then there's the seat. That is letting you know that the passenger seat is swiveled. Uh, so they're telling you to face it forward so that you can be safe going down the road. Uh, you can make phone calls from here. Super easy. I already showed you the electric, uh, electronic parking brake right here. So that's where you, you set it and disengage it. And it's just a standard. This is a nine speed automatic transmission, which is nice, fuel efficient. Um, I think they advertise 18 to 22 miles per gallon. Realistically, talking to my customers, they say you're in that 15 to 18 range, depending on how you drive. So uh, one more feature I want to point out before I get out of here is we have our, our rear view camera actually shows on your rear view mirror. So you can leave it off, you can turn it off, and you can adjust it right here. So you can adjust the settings on how it's coming through. So that is it for this 2023 uh, Winnebago Solus National Park Edition 59P. If you have any questions, this unit is available. So if you have questions, give me a call, shoot me a text or an email. Si hablo español, me pueden hablar al 720-276-4241. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next week.